After Dong Zhuo was defeated at Hulao Gate, the governors began to compete amongst each other for power. Liu Bei and his sworn brothers Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, lacking a base of their own, found themselves the guests of Cao Cao after much wandering. It just so happened that at the time, Yuan Shu was attempting to declare himself emperor. Incredulous at this turn of events, Liu Bei borrowed some horses from Cao Cao in order to punish Yuan Shu. In exchange, Guan Yu remained as a guest of Cao Cao and stayed in Shu Chang apart from Liu Bei. I request that you stay by my side a little longer, Guan Yu. My lord, you have chosen to follow the path of principle. Such a pathway is filled with great honor. For me, the path of my own duty is extremely clear. It's to be loyal. Nothing can part me from my brothers. So, you feel the individual is greater than the path? I swore a sacred oath with these men, and all my honor commands that I go to them. But I do not leave you so quickly, my lord. I offer you my heart and strength for your battle at Guandu. He, too, cares about the principles we fight for. I know that is true. But I understand why he must leave. Impressive force, Yuan Shao. You have both numbers and talent. I need to plan well to win this country. The larger the beast, the more it needs to eat. An army is a beast as well. The enemy supply base of Wu Chao is their weakness. However, we must not act with haste. Let us defend Bai Ma and Yan Ji for the time being and wait for an opening. My lord! The enemy is attacking Bai Ma! Send reinforcements. We must protect it at all costs. My lord, Yan Jin is struggling under an enemy attack. Yan Jin falls. We will have nowhere to go. Send our forces to that area and protect it. You think to outsmart me? Uh, Don't make me laugh. Uh, Another victory in the name of my brother! I claim another victory in the name of my brother! Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well! Word from our scouts! It looks like there are enemy reinforcements <laughs> approaching! Fight me now! Oh, here I go. <laughs> Oh! 
to think that there would be one who could surpass my might. Fallen? Who do they have that could match him? We are in a most difficult spot. Victory in the 
name of my brother. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well. We weren't clever enough to overcome this threat. My officer! The enemy is stronger than I anticipated. Even defeat has its lessons. We must withdraw for now. I have come for your head. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. I am so ashamed, but I am glad you came. We're being driven back. We need to try and muster up a counterattack.
name of my brother. With my blade, I will repay my brother's debt of honor. You have felled Yan Liang? Impressive, Guan Yu. Yan Liang has been beaten? I cannot believe Cao Cao has any who could accomplish that. Your brilliant performance makes me feel alive. Although we may be outnumbered, it is nothing I cannot handle. This is an important game for our cause. Let us have a glorious fight! Soiled by defeat, I shall return you. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. The enemy is stronger than I anticipated. Another victory in the name of my brother. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Here I go. I am a true warrior of the three kingdoms. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Here I go. My path. The honor of the humans. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Surely these acts repay the debt my brother owed you. Master Tsao Tsao, I will return to my brother's side. Will you not stay with me? Do you even know where Liu Bei has gone? Red Hair and I shall roam the land. If we follow the smiles of the common folk, we will find my brother. I am unable to sway your mind. Well, may your duty never be more than you can bear. I have merely fulfilled my obligation to my lord.